Hi, in this tutorial we're going to be using Photoshop to do some more advanced layer masking techniques. Um, we're going to take elements from this uh, document here and merge them into this document. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the doc second document here and using our square marquee tool uh, we're just going to make a box here getting uh, her whole uh, bottom portion of her face and we're going to copy this just control C and we're going to come over to the other image and paste it which is control V and uh, go ahead and name this layer mouth um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna replace uh, this woman's mouth with this mouth and uh, nose so what we can do is we can use masks to uh, soften the edges here so we can kind of figure out where to place it so we're gonna go ahead and add a layer mask to the uh, mouth layer and we're gonna select uh, black and get our brush tool and we're gonna make sure that the hardness is all the way down to zero and bring the diameter up a little bit and we're just gonna kinda come along the edges here to make it uh, soft alright that'll do for now now of course this isn't fitting very well because the uh, mouth is a little too large for this image so the next thing we can do is we can use um, the free transform tool which is up here in the edit menu or just simply control T and we can go ahead and make this smaller here by pulling on these anchor points um, I'm going to use shift and alt at the same time while I'm dragging to kind of keep the proportions and scaled by the center. All right, and now we can move this up a little bit, and you'll see that we're we're starting to take the correct form here. Uh, we'll make it a little bit smaller. Tilt it a little bit, and if we're happy with our uh, result, we can hit enter. And uh, let's come in here and adjust our mask a little bit here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove some of her chin here there we go now we've got some of her lip showing through here so let's zoom in and fix this and the way we'll do that is we'll get our brush tool again and we'll switch over to white and we'll just kind of paint this back All right, and uh, so there we have it. Uh, it's kind of a hideous looking um, adjustment to this image. Um, in the uh, next tutorial, we'll use the same uh, image to do some um, color correction techniques so we can kind of blend in the colors here. As you can see, there's a little bit of difference in color and even uh, texture. Um, so stay tuned for the next tutorial where we'll go over that.